Welcome everyone to Let's Look at Spin Tires. Now, what a weird title this is, isn't it? Now this is a, um, I believe it's sort of an indie developer, it's a small team by UV Games, I guess it's called. And it's an off-road uh, game, even though this is just a technology uh, demo. So, believe it or not, this whole technology demo is only 80 megabytes. Um, there's no actual gameplay yet, but I wanted to bring it to your attention because it is rather fascinating and actually really captivating. Now, what's so you know interesting about off-roading? You say you just drive, you know, on a track you know, get through water or something and that's it. Well, no, not quite. As you can see, we can uh, control differential lock, we can uh, turn on all-wheel drive or not, that will, you know, consume more fuel in the um, release. Uh, it doesn't actually have any fuel at the moment. And so on. And uh, what is even better is that everything is interactive. Well, so, let's say, I'm driving here. Oh yeah, and by the way, you drive old Russian vehicles here, and that's awesome in itself. So, okay, we're driving, no, 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 ignore the uh, texture error here at the middle. You know, we're driving, okay, and then we're, whoa, what the hell? Okay, now the game starts being different. It actually has modifiable or destructible environment, if you wish. Look at this. Look, I'm pushing the mud, I'm trying to get out, I only have rear-wheel drive at the moment. And, and what's more, if you've noticed, these tires versus these tires, well, I don't think you can really see it, um, but they actually gather mud on them. And it's not just a texture, it's actually physical, a physical model, and if you get too much of it, you can block the tire. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> there we go, the lights. So, yeah, we're now kind of almost stuck, so let's uh, turn on all-wheel drive and differential. Well, we can try it without d the diff lock, but it's probably not gonna be enough. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. So, let's get out of this rut. Yeah, the, sorry about the camera work. It's a little different. And uh, if, you can, if you check out these tracks, that's what we made. So, you know you actually make an impact in, in the world. And I think that's brilliant. All right, let's, let's continue. Uh, there's actually, this is a dead end. You know, let's, yeah. With a, with a handbrake. Now let's go. The sound design is pretty awesome as well. You can, you can hear everything from the engine. Uh, we're stuck. To, you know, to gear changes. I'm not even gonna consider going there, because it's way too muddy. Let's go a little faster, whoa! Yeah. Oh. Ah. Look, do you see the mud on that uh, rear wheel? Look at how much mud there is. We're kinda stuck, but... See, only the left rear wheel is turning at the moment. Uh, so let's uh, turn on all-wheel drive, that's better. All right, let's go that way. Come on. There we go. Okay, um, do you see the grass? That's nothing special, of course. You just, you know, that's in many games today. When you drive over the grass, you know, you flatten it. Let's see the trees, how they work. Come on. Okay, let's uh, all-wheel drive, because that's going to help. And see... Now, in this case, we're almost stuck. Look, look at the trails we're making now. Let's uh, turn on the diff lock as well, so all wheels turn at the same time. And now look at the tree. Look at that. Okay, that was quite minor. Oh, I'm in a deep rut now. That was quite minor. I don't think I can actually... Okay, ignore the uh, fading tree. That's only... Uh, made so you can actually see your car if you move like this. But yeah, I'm pretty stuck. So let's get out of here. Out of this mud. Look at look at what we're doing. The pristine environment, and we're uh, 
making it all worse. Again, apologies about the camera. It's a little iffy in the game. I think it's I think it's aimed so you can actually uh, look at all the wheels and what they're doing, you know. So it's a bit, you know, weird sometimes. Look at the mud on the front tire, for example. It's quite a bit at the moment. Well, not that much, but still. Uh, now let's look at the water. Actually, before we go there, I want to show you the mom coolest vehicle here, the MAZ. Now, listen to this. Okay. Frog break. Listen to this now. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Now that's what I'm talking about. Look at this beast. Oh, yeah. Russian 8x8. Eight eight. Well, that's crazy. Now, you may have noticed when we spawned this vehicle, actually it was already spawned, but we've started controlling it, is that uh, the wheels, let me, let me try to get a close-up if I can, the wheels actually deform as you drive. Look at that. Oh yeah, lots of smoke. Look, look at the wheels. Do you see how they're deforming? Because the vehicle is, of course, um, quite heavy. Now see, this, this came 80 megabytes and so much awesome. Now. Alright, let's go forward with this beast. <laughs> yeah. 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 Charge. Yeah. <laughs> it's so much fun. <coughs> Excuse me. All the wheels working. You can see the uh, the chassis, um, uh, the springs and all working. It's really oh, okay. Right there we go now. Look look at all the mud on these wheels. All right, this isn't gonna work. So we're gonna turn on all wheel drive. Listen to this. You actually have a Russian inside. There's no driver inside at the moment, but you actually have a Russian going, you know, angry Russian because it's, well, the, the stick for the all-wheel drive probably is giving him some troubles. <laughs> Alright, so all-wheel drive is gonna be a lot better. <coughs> I could have uh, turned on the diff lock. It would have helped. Now, let's see water. Now, in most games, what happens uh, is basically you go into the water and, um, well, you have some textures going on the water. And I think Silent Hunter games are one of the few that actually have uh, water physics. Not a lot of games have it, and this game does. Now, check this out. Look at the waves. Oh, look at the waves, look at that. Now that is brilliant. Ah, sorry, camera. Yeah! Look at the waves we're making. Not to mention the sound, and not to mention that we've, um, you know, we've uh, cleaned our tires quite nicely. Yeah. Now look, look at all the waves we've made. That is pretty damn awesome. Oh, sorry. See, even though we have all-wheel drive enabled, uh, we don't have the diff lock enabled, so those are spinning the most, but we're fine. This beast can get anywhere. I mean, for the moment, there's no penalty to having all-wheel drive and differential lock all the time, um, but, you know. Oh yeah, with this vehicle I can actually show you how trees behave. Look at that. Oh yeah. I don't think you can destroy them yet, but that is pretty awesome. Get out of my way. Okay, let's get up here. Okay, now here we will need to use diff lock because you can see only those three are moving. Oops. <laughs> right, let's uh, go. Diff lock enabled, which means all the tires are spinning. You can see the mud gathering on them. It's pretty brilliant. 
Yeah. Okay. Oops. <laughs> All-wheel drive enabled. I probably should have uh, stopped for that, but as I said, there's no repercussions at the moment for that. Oh yeah, we're in deep mud now. Okay, diff lock. Let's go. Look at this beast. It just does not stop at all. Look, do you see? Did you see that plant here? This one, right here. Look at it move when I, you know, hit it with my tires. That's that's brilliant. More power. Or as Jeremy Clarkson of Top Gear would say, POWER! Look at that! <laughs> That's crazy! Yeah. Okay, let's turn it off. Yeah! <laughs> <coughs> yep, we're stuck once again. Let's go! Urgh. Okay, diff lock, diff lock, sorry. Now, as I said, this is only a technology demo. And uh, they're trying to gather 40,000 pounds on the Kickstarter. Uh, the link to which I'll put into the description of this video. And I think this would be just a brilliant, brilliant game. Um, I think... Well, some of the descriptions they have of the full game, it will include, like, you know, you being somewhere, taking on... Uh, taking on some logs of wood uh, with a mechanical arm and then trying to get it to a destination I presume in the Russian tundra or whatever Now that is awesome That is brilliant Look at it And see, I mean, the details on this model The textures are great The details are awesome And the sound is is brilliant you know many times we have games where there's a turbo turbo engine and the the turbo is just a high frequency whine uh, put into the actual sound effect so you know it doesn't actually work independently but here it does if you listen to it i can you know i can have it a low level by tapping my uh throttle button or i can just put it to full throttle and the turbine will spin. I think it is brilliant. Let's go this way. Mud, you won't stop me. Look at the tracks we're making. We break for nobody. <laughs> and also... Uh, despite all these physics and these rather nice graphics, you know, th they are very nice. The depth of field, the SSAO, everything, this still runs, you know, beautifully on my computer. And uh, we also have, you know, this is the tech demo, so you can change the, the, the time of day. So this is evening. Stupid camera. So this is evening, you know, you can... This is evening, you can also drag it like this. This is pretty brilliant, look at it. Let's let's drive at night. Turn on lights and go. So yeah, I think um This is this is a brilliant, brilliant concept. There were many off-road rally games and such. But even though, you know, those McRae Rayleigh and stuff like that uh, were fairly good simulations, I think. I haven't played them that much. Um, I don't think we ever had a really proper mud going off-road simulation like this. I mean, if you want a simulation, you just can't have a track and some vehicles. You actually need some physical, physics simulation like this. Mud on tires, uh, you know, actually displacing mud. Look at it. Let me uh, put it on daytime, noon. 
You see, I mean, you're actually making tracks, and uh, when I got stuck in this jeep, for example, let me let me try to get stuck. But a little bit stuck, I guess. I don't think this is gonna work, though. No. But anyway, when I got stuck, something, some, somewhat like this, uh, you know, I found it brilliant that, you know, my my tires were spinning. I was going nowhere. But, it actually worked if I moved my um, uh, wheels left and right like this, you know. It's, I think it's brilliant. It's fascinating. And considering how many details they've put into this game, I have no doubt that uh, you will also get mud on your actual vehicle and everything. Oh, uh, and yeah. As I said, if you get too much uh, mud on one of the wheels, it will actually stop moving. <laughs> Let's let's try it. So let me try to get stuck for you. Well, I'm probably not gonna do that here. Look at this thing. It's just going through bloody mud like it's nothing. Uh, and with diff lock, uh, actually doesn't make that much difference. Even though this is not where somewhere you want to be. And look look at the tracks we're making. That's brilliant. I know I keep using the word brilliant in this uh, little tech demo, but I think it's appropriate. For a technology demo, this is crazy polished. This is really polished. From the sounds, to the graphics, to the smoothness of the game, it actually doesn't have such high, um, you know, technical specifications that you would expect. And uh, it's just amazing. Now, stop watching this, go download the tech demo. <laughs> go, go download the tech demo and uh, go support these guys on Kickstarter. This is, this is brilliant. I can't wait for this. And yes, I will stop using the word brilliant now. At least for the next five minutes. Metal Canyon out. Yeah!